breast lift. Usually a breast lift is requested by the patient that have a history of kids in the past or breastfeeding their, the kids. And the goal is to bring the, the nipple and the areola complex above the level of the inframammary fault or the IMF. We want to give you a breast that is perky, but also round. We like to call the breast the breast mound. And we want the nipple to be at the center of the mound pointing forward, and there are different techniques that we can apply to accomplish that goal. Some women only need what we call the periareolar or donut-shaped maxtopexy. That's the least invasive one, and that will translate into the quickest recovery. Then we have the vertical technique, aka as the lollipop mastopexy. For the lollipop mastopexy, you'll have an incision and scar around the areola and there's just a single line going down into the inframammary fold. This is the most common technique that we apply for our mastopexies as it is widely applicable in a wide range of patients at breast sizes and breast shapes. And then we have the wise pattern mastopexy, which people like to call the inverted T or anchor shape mastopexy. This is also very applicable most commonly in the breasts that are big and wide, and the recovery will be a little longer, not much longer, but a little longer, and we also have to address the scars in all of them, but particularly in the wise pattern mastopexy. So the approach is not just what we offer you during the surgery, but also making sure that your scars heal beautifully and fade away.